Good evening. Welcome back to the kitchen table. Um, tonight on the kitchen table, uh, it's going to be a very quick video that was prompted by discussion on uh, my YouTube comments earlier today about the different sort of connectors. If you're starting to get into antennas for your FPV system or even modding them for your, uh, for your uh, aircraft control or for the 2.4 downlink if you've got a Vision or a Vision Plus and that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to look at. Uh, but before we do, possibly inappropriately named for a RC remote control channel, but anyway, this really nice bent wing, uh, 2011 from Kunawara in Australia, a Merlot Malbec Cabernet Sauvignon blend. And it's bloody good, mate. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, <clears throat> connectors. Um, if you start to look at um, improving on the stock gear that comes with your FPV setup, pretty soon you're going to start looking at third-party antennas. They might look a bit like this, they might look a bit like this. And you're going to have to start getting your head around the different connectors, um, because this was confusing me for a time. And I think I've um, I think I've got my head around it. So what we're going to do is have a little close look at uh, the two main types you'll encounter, and hopefully this will enable you to choose the right antennas to match your equipment. So a, bit, a little bit of a jump cut, and then we'll move to the Black Pearl, and then we'll move to the AVL58, as these illustrate the two different types of connectors. So here's a close up of one of the um, connectors on the Black Pearl. FPV monitor. We reviewed this a couple of videos ago and we were very pleased with it. Um, this is an SMA connector. Uh, if you can see, it's basically threaded and there is, it's a female connector, I would say. There is a recess in there, a circular recess and an insulator. And that will fit an antenna, which is kind of the can you see with a pin in the center? So that is SMA. On the device, you have a female type with a hole. On the antenna, you have a male type with a pin that obviously just screws into there. Like that. Now, the other thing that you can get is something called RP SMA. Apparently the RP stands for reverse polarity and it's what is used on the DJI AVL58 or Boscam is another um, FPV transmitter that uses it. And basically it's exactly the opposite. Can you see here on the device we've actually got a male pin and on the antenna that it's matched to we have the female side. This is RP. SMA. And the way I rather foolishly remember it is that RP to me could stand for really pointy. So if you've got one that's really pointy, it's RP SMA. And therefore you need an RP SMA antenna, which is the matching female end. The reason why this is important to get right is because the threads on these both types of SMA connectors are compatible. So as you can see, I'm here going to join an SMA with an RP SMA antenna. And obviously, focus, obviously uh, that's not going to do anything, but it will successfully thread on because it's the same thread. But of course you're going to connect that and nothing's going to happen and you're going to think you've got a duff antenna, when actually what you've got is a perfectly good antenna with the wrong connector. Um, Similarly, obviously, you could get into a bit of a problem if you try and screw on tightly the two male, the male ends. You won't get very far before there's a bit of a clash, and you might, in trying to force it on, damage the thing. So, <clears throat> what you need to do is make sure you have the right antenna to match with the right connector on your device. Um, now, all is not lost if it turns out that you've got the wrong antenna. You can buy RP SMA to SMA and SMA to RP SMA little converters, little gold things about double this size. Now the antenna 
um, makers and the antenna purists will say that anything that you add to an antenna between here and the equipment is going to result in some loss, be that a patch cable or a, an adapter, there's going to be a bit of signal loss caused by anything extra that you put in. So it's always best to get an antenna that's got the matched connector. The reason why this came up earlier today is because it turns out that I said to somebody, oh, my Black Pearl's got SMA connectors. And therefore, an SMA antenna has got the pin in and it's fine. And somebody else said, well, I've got exactly the same model and mine's come with RP SMA on here. I think even some manufacturers don't quite understand and it says SMA and you find out you've got RP SMA. So that's just a very quick explanation of what the difference is and what they look like. Um, and hopefully, therefore, if you're now looking for some antennas from some of the third party manufacturers to improve your experience. So for Horizon FPV antennas, who I've reviewed uh, equipment for, or uh, FPVLR or any of the others. Now, hopefully, as I now understand, you'll know whether you've got an RP SMA, a really pointy SMA or a standard SMA and which matched antenna to go for. I hope that was useful. Just a quick one this evening. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon on the kitchen table. Cheers.